I'm going to ask you about Burris Lee against uh, St. Thomas in the All Ireland semi final. You played against Burris Lee in the quarter final in Tipperary over in, in Holy Cross Valley Cattle. There was only three points in it, if I remember correctly. Yeah. What, like, what sort of team are Burris Lee? I don't know how well you know St. Thomas is. Maybe you've played them in challenges or whatever, but like, how do you see this game going? Well, to be honest, now, I, I, I wouldn't know much about St. Thomas's, but uh, I've been hugely impressed with Burris Lee. Um, like I know an awful lot of them through I went to school in, in Burris Lee and a lot of my friends have grown up along uh, will be there and obviously we hurled against them a good few times in recent years so but I think they have um, a really collective drive and just togetherness there this year and they obviously have a lot of great hurlers as well but you could just see their will to win was absolutely incredible against Bally Gunner down, in, down there a couple of weeks ago in the Munster final and like just that at this stage of the year um, that hunger and you can see like you know inspirational figures then like your own brother Paddy and you know Brendan Maher, Dan McCormick just to mention a few you know and Niall Kenny catching that last ball you know these things when it's just it's raw it's you know heart on the line kind of stuff this time of year and Boris Lee seem to have that in abundance and uh, you know they'll take a lot of stopping. Like uh, St Thomas of course have game breakers with Davy Burke and Connor Cooney just yeah. to name just a few so like, and I'm sure you've tried to do that many times with Tipperary, nail down Davy Burke, but he's just a wonderful player. You can't always do that. Yeah, definitely. Like they have, look, they have players that will hurt you, um, given the, I suppose, given the opportunity. But I suppose one thing Boris Lee have been good at as well has been targeting main players for other teams, and you know, nullifying their, their impact on games. And um, you know, like David Burke is a fantastic player. Like he's been driving that Galway team for years now, and and Connor Cooney on his day can, you know, can be devastating in front of goals. So. Um, they'll take a lot of watching but um, I just think Boris Lee are in a really good place and there must be a huge uh, I suppose you might know it now uh, I've been trying to avoid the place <laughs> but there must be a huge buzz around and I know from talking to Brendan uh, Brendan and the lads they're like they're, just, they're kind of crest of a wave stuff now and it's just really they're really enjoying it so you know they're um, they're going to be formidable opponents for anyone now going forward and we have to preview the Burris Lee against St Thomas's All Ireland semi final now you're part of the Killadangan team that was um, that lost to Burris Lee in the county final and you would have been involved in lots of games in the last number of years yeah. you also coached Tommy Larkins in the Galway championship so you, you would have come up against St Thomas's uh, I'll throw it out to you broadly first how do you see this going Oh sure, look, it's going to be a, a serious, serious, um, tough game. Uh, two very physical teams, two very good teams with some of the greatest ind individual players that Galway and Tip have, have seen over the last number of years. Um, as I said, I was I was coaching Tommy Larkins there in 2017. We played St Thomas's in that championship and we drew. I was um, I was at the St Thomas's and Tommy Larkin's quarter final in the Galway Championship this year and Thomas has just stayed in the game, stayed in the game and eventually picked off uh, picked off a win in injury time. So they are a good outfit. Fintan Burke is a massive uh, addition to them and I presume after he, the cruise after yeah. the cruise ship, yeah. Um he he will he'll be a massive shove shove on to St Thomas's but Bursley are on they're on that kind of a crest of a wave at the moment. They're going to approach the next five or six weeks in a proper fashion, knowing Johnny as well as I know him and knowing some of the leaders Bursley have, they're going to go into this game all guns blazing as they did in the Munster Club series. And uh, I give them every chance. It's going to be a serious, serious tough game. Just looking at the bookies odds on it there, it's very hard to call for the bookies. So I think we'd be mad to try call it four or five weeks out as it comes closer to the game. You might hear of a few how tr winter training went, or how Christmas training went, and are there any niggles in either camp? But like that, it's going to be a low-scoring enough game, being on the fourth or fifth of January. But it's going to be a ferocious, ferocious game from an intensity point of view, because both them teams are well able to get stuck in and, and go at each other. You mentioned Fintan Burke. He came in in the Galway final. I think he came, like he's normally a wing back. He played full back. That's where he did his cruciate against yeah. Ballyhale in the All Ireland. Came on full four and scored two points. I think in the county final. So he's he's definitely going to be someone that Boris Lee will have to watch. Davy Burke, of course. You know nobody needs to to sort of talk about how good he is. Connor Cooney as well. What else do Boris Lee first of all need to be wary? Of? Yeah, look, like Thomas's have a very, very particular style of play. They're a good, solid physical team, first of all. They have six good backs. The two Coonies and the half back line are big, strong men. If if Bursali lump, lump puck outs down on top of them, they could they could start to dominate. Now, I know with Connor Kenny and with Jerry and a few more lads in the Bursali forward line, they don't lose too many high balls. But the two Coonies are very, very efficient players. They're very strong men. Uh, David Shurry is another good player. Finton, is, Finton Burke, as we mentioned earlier, is going to be a big shove on wherever they play and be it wing forward or back in the backs. But Thomas's style, 
tends to um, I suppose one thing that's very evident with St Thomas and Kildangan actually played them in a challenge match earlier on the year is how they recycle ball they will pick off points from recycle ball from everywhere in the field they're really really good ball strikers in Aina Burke Dara Burke Kenneth Burke and um, you know some of their other forwards are top class as well but what they like to do is head into the tackle always a man on the loop around out, out the back and pick off points uh, again we see David Burke doing it for Galway for the last number of years um, but they're a good good solid outfit they're so used to playing with each other like Bernard Burke is an excellent wing forward as well at club level James, um, Regan. James Regan you see you, you go through the whole team like they have very experienced players but uh, one thing which I noticed was very evident from their team in the last two years is how they like to pick off scores um, from recycled ball I'm sure TJ Ryan um, been a good strong Limerick man as well he, he won't mind to see Thomas is getting stuck into a Bursa League team a good good strong Tiberi stronghold so it'll be a good intense affair uh, and I can't wait for it to be honest I think it's going to be a great battle Would you give Thomas's any sort of a, an edge in the sense that they've been to an All-Ireland final last year albeit it didn't go well and they were champions uh, I think it's only six years ago or so not really, I don't think. Again, I think it's it's on its merits. Uh, we would have said, in going back to the Tipperary final, you know, Bursley had a small bit more greater experience in the tip in the tip final with Brendan and Dan and Paddy and the likes playing. So I think Bursley are experienced enough now to have the Munster Club series under their belt. Uh, they have good, strong, experienced players, and um, I think they're they'll be they'll be very ready for St Thomas's. You know, uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't pay much heed into the fact that Thomas's have been knocking around the, the club scene for the last number of years. I think Burst Lee be well able for that. Because Boris Lee were beaten very comprehensively enough in the North final. Uh, I think it was something like eight points, two thirteen to one eight or so, something to that effect. I hope my maths are yeah, right yeah, there. I by the way, right, yeah, right. but what ch- what changed between then and the county final when you met again and Boris Lee got through by I think it was a goal. Yeah, look, I suppose not much changed. Um, the only thing that probably changed was the weather. Um, but no, look, Killing and Bursley knew each other inside out. Um, Bursley got a foothold on the game. Um, they were very deserving winners. And um, there was no major change. Bursley, Bursley got over their quarter final against Drum, their semi final against Killer One. And uh, they were in good stead heading into the county final. Teams in tip are so tight at the moment. There's about four or five or six there that are on a very even level. Um, you see Killian barely scraped through against Neen in the in the semi final and had an absolute titanic battle with Tumi Vara in the quarter final. So there you go, there's six matches played and, and a puck of the ball between all them six games. So I don't think much changed. Um Bursley just got the foothold in the county final and uh, they deserved their win in the end.